Okay, welcome back to the ranch. Okay, let's uh, get things organized here. Uh, let's see. Wow, where is everything? Okay, I got these two. I'm gonna. I don't know. Should I sell that one or should I just keep it? I know I should cut down all my trees to make planks. They could probably just go buy them. Thank you for that advice. I. I just I kind of like doing the the saws. It, I'll probably I'll have to after a while because you know I don't want to run out of <laughs> I don't want to run out of trees because you can't plant any yet. Which I hope that they do bring that eventually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got a lot of chicks running around. That's good. And let's see if they're coming up in here yet. Yep, there's a rooster down there. Okay. And we can do, thank you for the advice, I can do a, a composter. Let's, uh, there we go. That's how we get, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, now there's a, a pipe going from there to there. I'd never noticed that before. Okay, let's see. How many eggs do we have in there? Oh, here. Let's... I should check it. I, I, I should really check all of them just in case. Oh, I got a... Uh-oh. Because I do not want to put fertilized eggs in there. Yeah, and it doesn't give me. Yeah. Okay, let's get off the off the chickens. No. <laughs> Chick almost got out. Okay. And I was told about for placing the the fence. There's actually a little white dot, I guess, down here. Let's take a look. If we do fence. Oh, I guess you have to have a, a section that's not, because I'm not seeing the little white dot, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah, I don't need any more fence right now. Um, okay, let's grab the truck. Let's go grab our oil. we don't need to bring this trailer with because we have a second trailer now. Oh, wait a minute. First thing first. We're going to head over to the house and we're going to do the, um, plant the veggies because then we'll go to the general store and buy ourselves another egg basket that we can use for the vegetables, which uh, let's see. Grapes. And I don't know if the pineapples are going to fit in the basket or not. Okay, let's do some fertilizer. See, I don't know how long it takes for them to grow either, so we'll have to keep our eye on that. That's pretty good on the water. Uh, let's take the bucket with us. We'll stop and get, get some more water in it on our way to the head out of here. So we know we have enough water for bringing back with us. First thing we're going to do is head to the general store. We have actually not been there for a long time. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this angle of the, for the truck, truck. I think that changed, didn't it? Or, or am I just thinking of the smaller vehicles? I like the being more down, looking down on it, not as much from the back of the truck like this. It's harder to see where I'm going. OK, 
Okay. General store, I think, is this way. Let's see how my memory is. <laughs> Usually doesn't serve me very well, but. Uh, uh, yike. Oh, yeah, there it is. chickens and all that stuff let's get another we'll grab another egg basket uh, milking and this is where the meat grinder small bucket let's grab a second bucket so we have for water uh, a culture medication disease control composter we'll grab ourselves a composter that we can use for uh, picking up the poop in the chickens and we use that for fertilizer then. Um, and all this information I got from you kind folks out there that are watching the videos. Without your help, I would be kind of lost. <laughs> I would figure it out eventually, but this way we're not like mucking around in the dark <laughs> as much. Okay, let's go see what we got. Huh, setting it all on the outskirts of the, the drop-off area. Okay. Another basket. Uh, let's set the... Oh, I guess it was going to pick it up put the smoker farther back that will get us a little more space for our basket and now the compost okay now we're gonna head back to the ranch first before we head out to get the oil tank oil drums taken care of probably not going to be very far yet, along yet on the... Oh, wait a minute. Can I get to the oil from this way? Let's take a look at our map. Oh, yeah. Oil's way over here. Never mind. We're on the other side of the map. Um, yeah. Back to the ranch right now. want to get back to the oil rig just to make sure I have enough gas in it. This is going to take a lot longer with the since the last update I heard that you it's like two drums per day or something like that or per yeah, per day I think. I might don't quote me on that. I might be wrong about that, but I need any water in here. Let's go check this. Can we add? Oh. <laughs> must be getting. Oh, that must be a fertilized egg then. We'll set that one there. Okay, this is a fertilized egg. <laughs> yeah, I just was putting it in the... You're the one that left it out. Oh, no. You're the one that laid the egg outside of the fence. Not 
job. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's grab the other one. We'll fill this one and use this one over by the house for the for the plants. And we're going to use this basket over by the house too. We want this. I don't know if that, hopefully that hand isn't still ticked at me. Okay, let's find some poop. There we are. I don't know if that means that it went into the composter or not. Yep, it did. So, okay, we'll just leave that in here. Uh, are you fertilized? Nope. Yeah, see, it's... I wanted to let me pick up the eggs, but for some reason, see, it's not... Let's... Maybe if I have the basket, it'll let me pick them up off there. No, huh. Oh well. I see there's a lot of eggs in here. I just don't know which ones are fertilized and which ones are not. Ugh. Oh yeah, that one is. <laughs> I think that must be the one I just picked up. Ah. 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 Let me out. <laughs> I do not want to be killed by a chicken. <laughs> Boy, they, they're ticked off, aren't they? Yeesh. Okay. Oh, we're getting low on gas. We'll have to take a, make a stop at our, um, friendly neighborhood gas station next to the barn. <laughs> okay, we'll set this here for right now. And we will grab the water. Wow, it uses the water quick. I would think with the rain in a little bit, it would kind of I would hope it would do some good with the water from the sky. <laughs> okay, we got 19, looks like 19%, 13% for each of those. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. We've done quite a bit already. Saving is always a good policy. it or what? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, filled it automatically. Good. Okay, now let's head to the oil rig. Haven't been there in a, while, a little while, so that'll be good. And we want to keep our eyes open for some bees also.
imagine what, you know, the chickens attack, what, what's going to happen when I have a cow that's got a calf, and I want to move the calf. <laughs> the cow's going to kill me right out. <laughs> much because I haven't really got any oil in there yet. So I guess uh, working on the oil right now is not really a, a thing. Let's take a run around and see if we can't find some bees. It's been a while since there's been some over here and I did find hives over here so perhaps... Wait a minute. Let's just grab our smoker. I guess I don't want it on yet. All it does is this makes it hard to see. <laughs> ah, thought I turned it off. Okay. There's a tower. Let's go check that out. See if we can see down on our ranch from up here. Eh, it doesn't look like there's anything we can grab. There's my ranch down there. I think that's it. Wait a minute. No, that's not it. We're okay. Let's take a look where we're at. <laughs> no, definitely not it. It's way over there. So it's it's way over there. Over in that area. Or that area. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's over there somewhere. Yeah, because this is where the oil rig is, and then our farm's way over. Uh, so now what is that building up there, then? Let's take a look which direction is that. Oh, wait a minute. Should we go over there? Let's go over there. I don't know if there's if there's a... Maybe there's a side quest over there or something. Got to be careful. I've... In mist, I fall off of this all the time. <laughs> if you're wondering where the mist episodes are, I'm kind of holding off a little bit, waiting for them to get a little bit more done on the stable branch. Get it to a little more towards the stable branch before I make another episode.
guess I should have just went down the driveway, huh? Didn't really realize there was a driveway, but let's, now let's go this way. City Skylines 2 making a video on that one I think I'm more excited for it a little later on but I already have it purchased and I'll start making some videos but I I, I prefer the City Skylines games once there's mods when there's actual like stores and stuff wait a minute where am I going okay um because I don't like their made up businesses and stuff like that. I like to have actual businesses in my my maps and my maps usually are not like city <laughs> it's more the kind of areas I like to live in so it's gonna be like there'll be a house and then your next neighbor will be like a mile away <laughs> okay there is a person there so let's go see if they have any chores for us to do Okay, deconstruction, under construction, tr delivery trailer, treasures of ancients. Okay, let's try the deconstruction. Uh, let's see, this old barn behind me needs to be demolished. I'm fed up with looking at it. What can you do to help? Well, let's get rid of it. I think you would want to get rid of the rafters before you get rid of the last walls. I do like the, dem the demolition in this game too. It's, it's kind of satisfying one swing and boom, it's gone. Okay, how about under construction? What's this one? Uh, I've described a new build, build a new, I decided to build a new barn. Could you bring me some planks, please? How many are you gonna want? 64. Okay, um, do you have any trees? Can I cut your trees? So if I cut your trees, then I can, I'll grab my saws. No, okay. Um, let's see, I guess we'll do the hardware store and grab some. I think I'll run back to my house, grab my trailer. Cause then I'll just buy him. Hopefully he gives me the money to, um, equivalent to money for them. Uh, let's see, which way do I gotta go? Yeah, let's go this way. Probably the wrong way. I looked at the map, but I really didn't look at the map. <laughs> I, I turned it on, but I didn't actually look at it. I probably should, shouldn't I? Yep, because there I'm going in a circle. It's like I pulled up the map, but then I realized I didn't actually look at it. I'm 
gonna need the trailer to to put the planks on. better at using the brakes. Ah, not that much better. <laughs> See, I always do that. I always jinx myself. half a tank, but I would rather not run out of gas. Oh. Maybe drop it. I thought I could reach pretty far. There we go. Okay. I had to leave it in there longer than I anticipated. Kind of wish the chickens would make more, uh, like noise. I don't hear them, like, cock, uh, cock -a dooling or whatever. You know, it'd be kind of neat to have the the rooster crow at uh, like daybreak and stuff. to buy 64 planks. Uh, too far. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to think about making another uh, truck simulator episodes too. Let me know if it's something you'd be interested in seeing. I don't have the Oklahoma DLC yet, so I'll probably pick that up. I just hadn't done one for quite a while because after being in Illinois for a couple weeks, I'm kind of sick of driving because <laughs> I do too much of it when I'm down there. But now that I've been away from that, kind of getting back in the mood of playing. Got this whole nice setup behind me and I don't use it, so I want to use that too. So, Okay, we need... Okay, so that's... doing math, huh? Is that what I've got to do this early in the morning? Is math. I need 64 of them. And there's 8 in a bundle. So I need 8 bundles. Right? 64 divided by 8. Yep, so I need 8 bundles. Hopefully it gives, lets me buy 8, or I'm going to have to just... 
Oh, good, it did. Okay. Hopefully he gives me more than $256 to get him his planks. Or it's definitely not worth it. I wonder if he's going to have me, like, set them in a certain spot. Or if I could pull my trailer up. If I'm going to have to unload all of them. for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm getting closer to my 4,000 hours. I'm at 3,359, I think. I Last I looked, I, I, I don't quote me on that number, but I'm pretty close to that. Most I've ever been. Um, over the quite a few years I've been doing this, I think I start pull, I, I've had my channel since 2009, I think. Um, but I didn't really focus on it until 2020. But it's still three years. And I've got nearly 3,000 subscribers. And I've... 3,300 is the most I've ever been for my watch hours. Uh, it was... I think last year my my top was like... 2,200 or something like that. But we are doing better. I appreciate you enjoying these longer form videos. Um, watching them to the end helps greatly. Oh, oh, this way. When I go back up, I think we can go this way to get to his house. Where's the marker at? Yeah, okay, let's check our map. Yep, okay. See, now they got this trailer too. It, it makes that angle, driving angles, not very good. Sorry, guy. I ran into your house. Okay, I brought you the materials. What? He gave me 250 and I paid 256 for his wood. How do you fight? <laughs> How do you negotiate that? What's this? Tra uh, did you know that the warriors of the distant northern lands once traveled through our mountainous region? If you could find these three hidden treasures from our ancient warriors, I will reward you generously. I'm going to decline right now. I feel a little cheated by this guy. It's like, can we punch? <laughs> I should have just built this. I should have manufactured the planks myself. What the heck? That's just not cool. It's like all that gas money I spent, delivery time, and all that. So my time was worth nothing. That's something that needs to be fixed. 
That that was. I should have got at least seven fifty, if not a thousand dollars for that. Yeah, so if you're, uh, if you haven't done that job yet, don't bother. Go. I always do that. I go the wrong way. It's that, that definitely not a profitable little venture going on there. Right here at the hardware store, is there anything I need? I should, maybe I'll buy a bunch of planks just so I have them to build fences and stuff. Buy them for myself because I'm going to put a fence around the whole property so when I get cows and horses on that quest needs to be fixed then that, that, that's a little bit not worth it What was the other stuff we were thinking about buying last time? Got the bucket, got the fertilizer, don't need that, don't need any of those buckets. We don't need pails, we don't need harvester heads or anything yet. I am going to do farming eventually. You know, it's like, yeah, it's not profitable, but I kind of want to have like a really working ranch and you know, get myself all that stuff. Uh, we're gonna need the animal trailer eventually once I get my fences done. That's what that's the big thing right now. I'm gonna, I want to get a bunch of fences done. We're just gonna do town. Let's let's just get a whole mess of wood. There we go, 15 of them. It's not all that much to tell you the truth, but still, it'll get some of our fence done. Fit as much of this on the trailer as we can. which I should be able to fit it all on here easily. What the, da, 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 let's see. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all having a great day. Enjoying the episode. You get a chance to check out that um, tribe primi pr primitive builder yet? I've got the first episode up. I got the game the other day. Put the first episode up. If you haven't got a chance to check it out yet, be sure to head over to the homepage and check it out. Let me know what you think of it. I want to make a series of it. It's just uh, I want to make sure I'm gonna, you know, everybody's gonna like it. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun game, that's for sure. And like I said before, we got Sims City Skylines. It's, it's in my inventory, or I've got it in my my game library now. I bought it the other day. It comes out on the 24th, so we'll start making videos on that also. Plus, I've trying to get out uh, 
every few days like to get out some underwater relaxation videos so those of you that like to have something to watch before you go to bed put that one on every night different ones for my mom as she to help get to sleep I love to sit and watch the fish and, and stuff and we got lots of animal videos and the other thing I got for the channel I ordered last night was a new trail cam so I'll be able to because the deer have been coming I, I haven't been seeing them at night but I think uh, they've been coming at like 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning so I'm not awake I'm usually not awake after 9 so <laughs> um, yeah so keep your eyes out for those once I get it, I'll I'll put a probably put it together like a maybe put a video together about the the trail cam that I got probably possibly we'll see if I'm in the mood. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. It's a it's one of those trail cams that has a, a solar panel built in, so I'm not constantly changing batteries. That's one of the biggest annoyances about setting up a trail cam for the channel is the constantly charging batteries and the batteries I have are starting to get a little older so they don't hold their charge very long and they don't charge fully anymore so and all that expense for buying new batteries I don't really want to do when the trail cam I actually got regular price is one one nineteen and I was contemplating between that one and one that was one forty nine the one forty nine one had a lot better like features and stuff it had better uh, picture quality it was like a 60 megapixel instead of the 48 like the one I got and it had the starlight night vision so you could do color but when I went to check out I was like okay let's see we got one that's thirty dollars more it has a lot more features I'm I was leaning towards that one but the when I went to the the cart there was a little button down below it said click for forty dollar coupon so I clicked on it, and sure enough, there was a $40 coupon for that $120 one. So I was like, okay, well, $70 or whatever, you know, whatever it is, with shipping and tax and all that stuff. Well, shipping is free because I've got Prime, but um, it was it was worth the money difference to lose a couple of the features, the amount of money I was going to save. So I went with the one with the, just a little bit less quality, but they both they were both solar panel ones. That was the big feature I was really looking for, so I could have an internal battery. You can put batteries in it also to kind of give yourself a, a little backup just in case the sun's not out enough and it kind of drains down. But uh, it, it looks like it's gonna be good. We'll we'll do some do some trials on it and stuff like that, and I'm gonna I'll probably set it up either at the property or I will definitely set it up here at the house because we got the feeder out we usually have the deer but I haven't seen the deer in weeks which is irritating because I've got all this food out there but the raccoon coming in at night and eating on it and the crows and the ducks I've got a like hundred some ducks that come in and they're little vacuum cleaners when it comes to corn but I've got I've got like the alfalfa and I've got um, lick uh, liquid lick and all that like the um, apple and acorn and I've got like a powder and mix that I've got down all that stuff. But the um, but I just haven't seen them. I had, the last videos I had was on the trail cam that broke, and that was on the. 30th was the last day that they were on there and they've got like three or four bucks that are coming in which is nice okay let's see we want to work on a fence should I s like have the fence come out back here and kind of go way around so it encloses the whole thing or should I just go from the back here? I think kind of want to have the, or should I start at the house 
and kind of bring the fence out and around off of the house and just kind of outline the whole thing so the cows can just wander. I don't know. What should I do? Start at the main gate and work my way this way. We could set all the all the fence and then come back and build it eventually. Or let's see, let's because I want to be able to drive through it. I don't want to have you know, I don't want it to be something where I can't get through it with my truck. Because I'm not sure if that gate that they put let, let's go check something real quick we'll see if the gate fits the truck and trailer we're just gonna we're just gonna build this as an experiment oh I'm gonna need metal for that too and I here what we'll do is we'll see if we can drive through this. I don't know. It might be cutting it pretty close. Oh, it just takes seven planks. I thought the gate had... I thought the gate needed more. Like metal and stuff. Okay, let's open it and see if we can drive through it. Okay, well, I guess they need to have a bigger gate. Because how are we supposed to have a gate for our property? Well, I guess that's not going to work, huh? Whoa. <laughs> I doubt I got all of my planks back either. didn't. Well, that was an experiment. Showed that it didn't work. Uh, so we can't, like, just infence, fence this whole area and we have to make it so that it's for the cows. That kind of blight. That, that kind of stinks. I wanted to be able to drive it through a fence. So, I guess what we're going to do is just build a fence around the barn and then we will go from there let's do a we'll have a gate that kind of goes straight in here that's straight you know I can never really tell okay now fences okay where's that little white dot that I was okay there I can uh, I think I see it Here, let's turn it this way. See that my little white dot, that's that little white dot though is my pointer. Maybe if we go this way first. Yeah, see it locked in there.
Okay, that's better. It's locking in. I don't think I'm going straight, though. That... Not straight to the barn. I guess we... I don't want to have it completely straight. Let's have a little bit of a round. Then I'm not, like, fighting it. Thinking, oh, man, this is just not... Not uniform. Let's make so it doesn't have to be uniform. We'll make it kind of a round... Stable. We can, uh... If we get this big enough, we can use this for cows and pigs, probably. I don't know if you have to have separate. We don't have to have it going all the way. See, that's not... I want it to be at least the same direction both. So that's not like locking in going this direction. Do I have to go all the way around? I don't want to go all the way around with the fence, though. It doesn't have to be in the back of the barn. Yes, we'll try it like that. See, it's not locking in for me at this angle. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. I guess we're going to have to go all the way around the barn. I guess if I go farther out, give it space, give stuff space to walk behind here, maybe? doesn't really have to be though. I guess if I just do the fence along here, it's a waste of lumber I would think, but... Okay, we're at 2100. Let's uh... grab our, our air mattress real quick here and sleep and save. Oh, we, let's go check our veggies too. I think once we get them in the basket, I'm hoping that it doesn't uh, doesn't spoil as quickly. Not seeing any plants. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh, we're out of water. Okay. Yeah, I definitely uh <laughs> didn't do justice for the other plants that I had done. Because it uh, took a lot of water. That's probably why they dried out so quick. So we're about halfway on the growth. Okay, let's go work on our fence some more. Cause this way we can can lock it in. I like to be able to lock the fence in like that, cause it says snap, snap, snap. Hopefully we can get it to it's come connect to the other one. I guess my my farm's not my ranch isn't gonna be like the most beautiful like <laughs> thing on the planet. Cause what this is not gonna line up. I don't think we're not gonna get the two to like yeah. See look at that. That's not good. Especially because that's the gate right there. I 
See, I would rather have this kind of little that like that in the back of the barn, so I can not so I don't have to look at it. So uh, that one's gotta go. Try putting it straighter, maybe. So we'll try going this way a little bit more, maybe, and that might make so we can get a little more lined up. Let's try coming this way once. I, it's not gonna lat lock on for me, but. That's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, see, it's not... Hmm. Oh, well. Well, let's... We're just going to go with it like that for right now. Okay, now we need four planks for each of those, and then seven for the gate. Oh, that's way off. That one doesn't need to be there. How do you how do you get it to like line up? Yeah, okay. It's like I want it to line up, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get it to that point. To go out more straight this way. At least this isn't taking resources just to place it. See, it's like, do I want, how do I get it, that's, how's that look, that's pretty good there. Hey, that's not bad. Not too bad, I'll take it. Okay, now we need lumber. Let's get our truck over close to the fence. Probably not going to have enough. estimate how much lumber I was going to need. And see, I think the fence is probably backwards. It is. 
So that's supposed to be the inside. Yeah, see the flat's supposed to be on the outside. And the X's are supposed to be on the inside. I should have built it from doing it from this angle. From the inside of the fence, not from the outside. But do you know what? I'm going to go with it. It's decorative. I'm, I'm a designer, I guess. <laughs> it, it's just... I'm outside the box, you know, like, as they say when it comes to design, you know. My ranch is going to be unusual. I'm not going back and <laughs> redoing all that fence just because it's backwards. It's more it's more for the the appeal of the animals that are going to be inside. They they want to be able to see it. finished I guess <laughs> oh boy yike what the hell what happened there so each stack does two fences So I guess I will have enough logs, which which is good, because I'm going to be wanting to build more stuff anyways. We'll stash the rest of them in the little garage and go from there. Once I get this all taken care of, then I don't have to be running back to the hardware store every time I need planks, and I won't have to cut trees down that I don't have a lot of on my property. Okay, next step. We're going to get some cows. I know it's not profitable probably, but hey, I want to try it. Okay, let's take this and offload all this lumber. I guess we don't have to do it right now because we're going to go buy an animal trailer. So I guess I, what I could do is just unhitch the trailer here. I think I have enough money to buy the trailer. Could grab the let, all the eggs and sell those. are fertilized. Let's uh, I guess it won't let me pick them up with the basket. Oh, come on. At least it's letting me pick them up this time. Last time it wouldn't let me pick them up. It's that one right there. It won't let me pick it up. Yeah, see, it just makes me pick up the whole thing. Ah, it's like I don't want to pick up fertilized eggs. up the eggs and put them on it holding this. Nope. 
Oh, fertilized. Let's go put it in here. Yeah, she's attacking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're angry with me. Figures in my... Oh, I can't get it. Good. Okay, we're gonna take the basket with... That way we can, uh... Sell the eggs. We'll stop at that... Uh... Burger place. See if they will take the eggs off me. Okay, let's go ahead over. Do a little hunt, maybe on the way, huh? If I see some deer. Hundred fifty, not too bad. Now, what is this guy? Can he talk to me? No. Best burger, and I can't even buy one. What? What's that all about? Okay, next stop, hardware store. Should I do dairy farm or beef farm or both? Probably gonna do both. I think I'm going to start with dairy. Or pigs. I know the pig sausage is supposed to be really profitable. But I like the cow aspect. Okay, let's grab the air mattress. I just love the fact that air mattress can be taken and you can just save anywhere. Best advice ever. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, let's go see how much is the animal trailer. 1500. Well, that's going to take me down pretty low. What you do is buy it and go drop it off at the at the general store and then wait until we have the um the money for the cows. We have to wait for the oil to f process. Let's grab a couple oil cans or gat um milk jug cans too. And then we will definitely need to wait to buy cows. Which we'll see what um how much it costs for a cow. Hey, milk cans. That's what I've got my corn and sunflower seeds stored in is milk cans like this. had it. It didn't look like a spot where it could hold, say, be, there we go. Now can we put a milk can inside the animal trailer? We can. Okay. We'll just put it, I guess I should have just put them all in there, huh? No. We, we'll, we'll 
because I want to take them back to my my ranch. So let's do this. I, I guess I don't want it in the animal trailer. If I can get up in there. Come on. Because I want to grab that basket and throw it down in here. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just... We'll leave it for what it is right now. Why is it not? Usually it does. Uh oh, I'm gonna run out of gas. Do I? Oh, I hope I have gas in that. Do I have a can in here? I do not. Oh, shoot. I guess we're gonna be going back to the ranch if we make it. Let's get there as close as we can. so we can get gas in the truck. As long as I can get close, then I can at least run back and grab a can of gas. Oh, come on. Don't run out by the bear. <laughs> yeah, see the camera angle's not good. Maybe if I if I go to first person for the sitting a little bit close to the s to the windshield isn't he <laughs> you should be sitting back a little bit more than that I guess I could drop off my milk jugs this way. Can I get it from here? There it goes. Whew. Huh. I guess I gotta be closer to it. Okay, let's go take these, uh... Milk cans to the barn. Set them in the corner here. 
I'm gonna need a milking machine too, I think. Milking's probably not profitable, but... those doors yes okay good Which obviously you can probably open them <laughs> oh I could use this to move the the lawnmower it's got a fairly light um, slope tailgate let's go check our veggies and what we'll do is we'll sleep in the house this time Oh, it's only 1300, never mind. See how far along our plants are. I sure go through the fertilizer. Yeah, see, the water should be going up just on the fact that it's raining. Wait a minute, are they ready to harvest? No, 86. Yeah, so in the morning they will be ready to harvest. Okay, well, in the next episode we will be, one, getting some cows, Possibly some pigs. Let me know. Do you want some pigs in there too? Uh, we got to get our milking machine. We will harvest those veggies. Try that out. I'm not sure if the basket's going to do the pine pineapples or not, uh, but we'll play around with that because as soon as I wake up, they should be ready to harvest. And that will all be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.